can you state your name for the record and um what you will be doing hi good night court my name is sharon oakley and i am the prosecutor for this case you okay. want me to be liar just make me know you have um rock a bay Rakabu, did I pronounce your name properly? Mm -hmm. Yes, Rakabu. Good night, everyone. I'm Rakabu, and I'll be representing Splice. All right, so she will be representing Splice. Now we're looking for a Charlie Red lawyer. Um, but Good night, everyone. I'm representing Carly Red. Okay, so this case, this case, no? guys, listen, this case, Summer, what is it? I'm not adding anybody right now. Guys, let me tell you, I cannot add anyone. I will add the jurors to the live later to come and ask y'all questions to the parties who are on here. So now, everybody know that splice and charlie red used to be friends and for some reason they're not friends anymore we all know that splice ex is justin it is alleged that justin used to date the makeup artist who used to do splice's makeup and I'm going to say mouth, teeth, and tongue is saying that Splice is lying about most of the things. So we are going to start off by saying, Miss Charlie Red Lawyer, your client stated that she, your client used to be friends with Splice. And, um, now they're not friends anymore this case is very long because a lot of things are going to be coming up inside the the, the court you understand so i need you guys to pay attention to this case because this case is very sensitive and i want everybody to pay attention so we're going to start with um charlie red lawyer okay good night guys okay all right let's start Splice joined the Love and Hip Hop. You know, I like to go back. I like to give the history. Spice, Splice joined the Love and Hip Hop cast in 2017. As you know, when you join a Love and Hip when you join a reality TV cast, you have to have a friend. So Splice was introduced as Charlie Red's friend on the show in 2017 in Jamaica but they're, they're they were never friends before but they were introduced as friends why i say this because people are saying that my client was the one who got got splice on the show my client never said that the comment sections on social media said that there was a person by the name of placey young she's the one who got splice on love and hip-hop okay anyway so there was a six page letter and then we're gonna debunk all the the reasons why splice says she's not friends with carly red anymore before we go there before we go there miss rock a bow yes your client have stated that Miss Charlie Red, bad mind her. She's spreading spreading so much stories and saying so many things about her, especially talking that Miss Carly Red bought her a fake bag, came to buy a house beside her. What what how does what happened here to this friendship? And it's also what I want to go back to. We we can start with the fact that you your client is saying she did not know that her ex-boyfriend was dating her makeup artist are you yes. aware of that yes i'm aware of that all right so 
How did your client not know that her makeup artist was her ex-boyfriend, um, girlfriend, and Miss TikTok lawyer, Miss Charlie Red lawyer? I have a question for you. You, your client and Splice used to be friends. How did how did your client not tell her friend that the her makeup artist that supposed to be friends with her? Are you following what I'm saying? I'm following. I'm following. Okay. Yes. My. Why didn't your client told? Are you following what I'm saying? I'm following. I'm following. Okay. My client, the say. Okay. The alleged makeup artist, right? She works for VH1. She works for the show. She does green screens for the show, like when they have in the confessionals when they talk about this, this um, this the particular scene they do green screens for the show my client was never miss rockaboo's make personal makeup artist and i'm going to send you the proof my client was never her makeup artist she does green screen not, for the that show is not, that is not what splice said well she lied i am going she to lie let me play miss, okay go ahead go miss, ahead i need i need evidence if you are going to say that when i said no. Anybody is saying that anybody is lying, please to provide me with the evidence, okay? So I'm going to play a short clip of Splice explaining the situation a little bit. Just a short, short clip. All right. Hold on a second here. Where is it? Jesus, what part is there? Hold on, hold on. I want you to listen good, listen properly, Miss um, TikTok lawyer. Bluetooth. Carly was friends with a girl. She's also a makeup artist. Make, make, her name now come to me, but never remember the girl's name. But she, I, That's it. Have our screenshot. She go down my DM. I text me about why are you telling Carly this and that. The girl used to live at Carly Yard. She used to live with Carly, but, but she's also a makeup artist, so she used to do my face. So I used to make her come to my house to do my face. So she's coming to my house. She's laughing in my face. She's laughing up with Justin. Then they, they act like cookie, kiki, kiki, kiki. When we find out that bitch is Justin ex gal, when you so fuck. So when me go to she, she said, oh, it was before. I, you know, <laughs> thank God, tell the kids I give it a pillar. Me girl, me not in the foolish. I saw me steam. Me very just chop, 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 chop. So that's why I don't have to rest. I don't find out argument done. So I don't know now. So who want to take it and run with it? Take it and run with it. But when thing Gracie, I go do attack our truth as Gracie, I always lay it up on the table and move on. I mean, I care and give a fuck about that. So them claims that because it was before me, I shouldn't feel no way. But I still did feel a way. So if you feel like I shouldn't feel a way, y'all can tell me, okay? Y'all be fair and tell me. All right, so you saw why Splice is upset because her friend Charlie Red did not tell her that the person who was doing her makeup was her man, ex man Justin, ex girlfriend. Okay, check check your messages. I just sent you the proof. My client found out the same day that Splice found out. What's that? Splice asked the girl. Why didn't you did you date my ex man? She said yes, but that was before you. The same day my client found out was when Splice asked the makeup artist. That's the same day my client found out, and she never worked with that makeup artist ever again. Miss Rock, Miss um, Okay, I have to read something here. Oh my God, this is a message from Ch Carly Red. It reads. I found out the same day that Splice found out that she was sleeping with her ex. We were both there when it happened. The girl touched by Tash Mac was doing my makeup for green screen. While me and Splice was both at green screen, Tasha had her own relationship with Splice that I had no idea about because she used to do my makeup for work and leave. Splice asked Tasha while I was getting my makeup done, 
Did you sleep with my man before I got with him? Tasha said, yes, this was before I met. I'm tagged, I'm tagging everyone cause I'm about receipts. Um, Miss Abu. Yes, I know. Why is your client lying? So my client is not lying. My client never stated that the makeup artist was her personal makeup artist, first and foremost. Let me give you, before I go any further, let me give you a little flashback on who is my client. And let me get, let you have an understanding why whenever friends betray my client, she has this that sort of outburst. My client, Grass Ham, a.k.a. Splice. Queen of Dancehall was born in Kingston, was born in Jamaica, August the 6th, 1982. She's a loving mother of two, a very loyal friend. And she loves her besties. Hence, why are we here today? Let me answer that question for you. That is why, that is because of betrayal over and over by friends. We all know that Spice love her friends deeply whenever she build a relationship with them. Let's, let's go even further back. Her three best friends. We have Bubble, we have Ugly Ugly, and we also have T.A. We all saw how that unfold and how that, uh, how that affected my client. Now, moving forward, my client found a new friendship with Miss Charlie Red from the Love and Hip Hop. Charlie Red betrayed my client not only by hiding the information of the makeup artist and her ex man sleep having a relationship. She also betrayed my friend way back from buying a house beside her. I have the evidence for that. My client did confront her regarding that. I also have the evidence for that. Objection. Yeah. How did she betray her by purchasing a property beside her? Your client doesn't own the area. Yes, I know that. But okay. it, 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 was, it stemmed from my client and her having dispute regarding issue that was have taken place in Dominica Republic, also leading up to the purchase of the house where they were being back and forth saying, okay, don't buy it here too close. We don't want to be too close. She also told my client that she was not going to purchase it. Then she go ahead and purchase it beside my client behind her back. So my client just felt betrayed by everything. So everything's add up. Miss, Miss um, Charlie Red Lawyer, is there any truth to this? Okay. This person, the, the alleged makeup artist, she is not Miss Plice's personal makeup artist. Right. Miss Plice's personal makeup artist is somebody known as Noseworthy. I'm going to send you the proof of how far back this person has been doing. Miss Plice's makeup artist is from 2016, even before she went on Love and Hip Hop. Yes, that is correct. I have, that's I also that's never her personal makeup that, artist. I have never stated that. Though. My client introduced her client to this to this subdivision out for like 45 minutes outside of Atlanta. My client, she invests in real estate property. She went to Miss Rakabu's client and told her she was trying to buy property in this said subdivision. In this said subdivision in December 2020. She was looking for property to build a house from the ground up. This is how Miss Plice learned about this said subdivision from my client because she invests in property. She has several properties across Atlanta, Georgia and the outskirts. Anyway, Miss Plice went ahead in July 7th, July 20th of 2022, and she bought the property. In September, she and my client had a conversation about moving, about, you know, my client was looking for the property, but at the same time, my client didn't receive the land. She wanted to build from the ground up. Miss, Miss um, Rakabu's client, she came to my, my client in September and she said she was not comfortable with my client living next door to her. They had a conversation. Whatever happened in the conversation, she thought my client thought it was squashed. 
Nobody could tell a person where to buy a house, a subdivision. If you want privacy, you buy a house on a private lot. That's a subdivision that's open to the public. Anyway, my client got a good deal for her house, 100000 less than the actual price. So she took the deal. It's an investment property. My client yes, never, never moved in that property. Excuse me? She never moved in the property. It's an investment property. Okay, so your clients have that place rented out or something? Yes, it's rented out. It's an investment property. Yes, but Miss Rockaboo is saying that your client... Miss, Miss, Miss Abu, what did you say earlier? That her client sabotaged... Um, what do you call it? Um, you, you, you mentioned um, a word. My client and... Uh, miss Char and charlie red right they yes. don't have previous conversation regarding Sabato. the house before the purchase so they did what kind of conversation miss miss red present the idea of purchasing a house next to my client mm -hmm. my client wasn't comfortable with with that idea i know buying a house you can't stop anyone from buying a house publicly i know that but my client and her are friends, so they thought she thought she could have speak with her. Anyhow, the conversation Miss Red did. I'm not sure if she agreed or not with my client about purchasing the house beside her. However, she go ahead and purchased the house behind my client back, and my client confronted her about it, and she apologized to my client for doing that. I also have evidence of her apologizing to my client Do, where is the evidence you want to play do you have two phones or you want to send it to me Which I could, you, I have, could send. you have another phone yes i could send it to you you don't have, yes, another phone? have a next phone all right let us take your word for that right now so your client oh, here, the the uh, you can you listen you're gonna make me get mad and upset the truth is, I'm going to try my best to hear Carly out, even though I know she's a liar. But I don't know how long we're going to be able to sit down and hold it and watch her being fake across the table. You say you wanted to talk, I'm here. Don't try to piss me off. I really want to hear what's going on in your head because I'm kind of really confused. Why are you mad at me? I just don't like how you have to see you funny. You do my birthday in Jamaica. You told people you spent 35000 though. I never That's told four people million that. Jamaica. Yeah, you told people you submit that song for the Grammys. Yes. Why you didn't tell me? I thought Mina told you. Why would Mina need to tell me? I thought. What are you saying to me? Why you don't tell me? It's just the sneaky things where you do. I thought you'd be happy about something like want... that, but it didn't. No, it didn't I'm go no. nowhere. So I was like, I didn't. Don't act like you want to twist no. the situation. Right. I don't even remember what I spent on her birthday party, and I don't even care. You're, you're, you're I didn't know I had to let me like, oh, Spice, um, please, please, is it okay if, if we go get our song to get a Grammy? So it's like the things that I thought she would be happy about. She not happy. Last year we argued about the house. You living next to me is a problem. If my fart, you smell it. That's how close the house is. If we, if me have sex, I'm going to make nice. You're going to hear say me have sex. Like, why would you need to live exactly next to me? You walk over my house. You happy about that. You keep saying that. Stop saying you thought I would be happy. If when you were you. buying the house, you gave the lady an NDA. Why? Listen That's to this. I'll give everybody. Why would you need to hide that you're buying a house next to me if you claim that we're best, we're friends? The truth is, Carly knew, because me and her was arguing about this from last year, that I would be angry if she still went ahead and buy the house. So she purposely made my neighbor sign a non-disclosure agreement. So she made sure that it was illegal for my neighbor to tell me that she's the one that's buying the house. It's shady as hell and it's very creepy. I didn't know you hated me that much. There you go. So your um, client uh -huh. went ahead and even though my client and her had previous discussion regarding buying the house and still go ahead and buy the house. Oh my God, Miss TikTok, Miss Carly Red Lawyer. I, I'm, oh, yeah. sure, I'm sure you just heard. Okay, I heard what she said. That's why my client never moved in the property. When she found out how she felt about it, she never moved in the property. She has never... I'm going to send you the um the listing where the house was listed for rent. The, the house is rented as we speak. She never moved that day in that property. When she and Spice had the discussion about feeling uncomfortable and weird, she listed the property for rent. She never moved in.
So what is is it true that this Charlie Red law, um, daughter lives in that property? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't live in that property. She lives in an apartment in South Fulton, Atlanta, Georgia. I could send you. I don't want to put nobody address out there on blast, but I have the address where she lives at. She doesn't as live we, there. As we speak. I, I like to as we speak. I like to object. Go ahead. Her daughter does not live there as we speak, but her daughter was staying there for a period of time. And when she found out she was uncomfortable, she didn't go ahead and move. She, she listed the property for rent. Miss Abu, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Why, why is it your client did not want Miss Charlie Red, her friend, to buy the house next to her? But when she was sick in DR, Miss Charlie Red was the one who was there by her side through thick and thin. Explain this for me. Okay, so while my client was in DR fighting for her life um, from her hernia erupting, causing her to have sepsis, Carly Reddy was there, yes. Carly Red was being supportive, yes. But at the same time, Carly, Carly Red was there with her own agenda. Secretly videoing my client, sending out information oh. to other friends regarding my client. However, How do you know that? I will send you the evidence for that. So, okay. so that's part of the issue that stemmed the break in friendship with Carly Red and, and my client. Not only the Rasta and the makeup girl situation. So it's a build up. So it seems to me, Miss um, Miss TikTok lawyer, that maybe do you think that your client is a little you know my client did not record um spliced in the dr nancy recorded spiced spliced in the dr when who's, they were nancy, nancy is a friend of of splice who introduced who introduced okay listen spliced introduced my client to Nancy. Nancy is Spice, Splice's friend. Nancy is the one who recorded the video. If you know, in DR, their main language is Spanish. When they were talking to the doctors and stuff in DR, Nancy said she recorded the video. I have the proof. I'm going to send you the screenshot. She recorded the video of what the doctors were saying because they were mostly speaking Spanish and most most of her friends and family who was present didn't speak Spanish. So they recorded the video to say when they get back to the US, they would have it to show the doctors. When Splice was on the media because the media was bashing her, that's when she come out and click alive. Anytime she started getting bashed, she click alive. The media wasn't believing her story about the DR. So she was upset, she click alive. When she was trying to explain her set, explain whatever happened in the DR, they wasn't believing her. So she, so Nancy sent her at the same time, use this video to prove to them whatever you was going through. My client never had the video, never saw the video. Nancy is a Haitian. She's Haitian from Haiti. Miss Ply, she has no Jamaican friends, none in the U.S. All her friends who is not from the from Haiti is from all all over. All her friends are from different countries except Jamaica. All her friends that were present in the DR. So Nancy was the one. Like a pussy. Nancy was the one who recorded the video. She said it. I could say it. It's not allegedly. She admitted. She said, I recorded the video. My client had never seen the video. The only person who saw the video was Miss Rockaboo's client. So I'm gonna send you the screenshot where this was said. And Miss Miss Rockaboo's client admitted, yes, you sent me the video. And I said, and, and Nancy said to her, when the, the whole public was bashing her, use this, tell them this is what happened. Okay, so I'm gonna send you the screenshot right now where Nancy admitted that. <coughs> okay um so you're saying that your client did not know that the person who did 
Splice makeup used to sleep with Mustin? No, they found out the same day in green screen, they was doing confessionals. The makeup artist who works for VH1, Love and Hip Hop, she's been working there since season one. Even before Splice joined the cast, they, Splice asked her right then and there. That's when the first time my client found out that this person was sleeping with Mustin. My client is very messy. I'll admit that. She'll be the first one to do something for clout. And if she knew this person was sleeping with Splice's ex, this would have been TV time for her. So my, my client holds nothing back. Nothing back. She's going to talk on camera and they're going to hash it out on camera. Miss Abu, would you say that your client is a bully? No, my client is not a bully. My client is, seems as a bully because my client is an is a individual who stands up for herself and what she believes in. And whenever an individual is very strong-willed and stand up for themselves, they always proceed as a bully. Okay, Let's why did your client point. say, why did your client say that, um, Charlie Red brought her a fake bag for her birthday and she took Charlie Red on a you know mini vacation for hers. Why would your client do such a thing? Because it is proven that the bag is not fake that Charlie Red bought her for her birthday. So why would your when client my client was talking about the bag? My client clearly <laughs> uh, so have proof of that. My client clearly said she can be wrong. So right there and then, my client was not sure if the bag was fake or if the bag is real. She said she don't know. And she asked for the proof. She asked for the receipt, which Miss Red did provide. Let us hear from the... Um... My client, let me finish saying something. My, the reason for my client thinking the bag was fake is because the bag was stripping, the bag looked shady, looked shabby. So that's why my client had that assumption. But your client made this allegation. She came with no proof to show the bag was stripping or anything. She just she, said it. She did, not, Oakley, she did not so show one, the bag. One yes. second as before we don't want to stream, case, Oakley, what is your question? So as a prosecutor in the case, I'm just saying something quickly, not too much, but the place that they purchased the bag from, whoever purchased the bag, the bag can be fake because I have known of people that buy stuff there and then when they take it or wear it, they get to understand it's fake, then bring it back. You get me? So what the people them do is, God, me can, me, me can do this. What the people them do is, them can't buy the good and carry the fake go give back the store. So she will end up with a, a fake bag. So that's it. Me not do it. Me I listen. Me I take note. All right. Miss, um, Miss TikTok, Charlie Red Lawyer. Can you tell the court, how do you know that the bag is not fake? Because the bag was purchased July 27th, 2022. Spice birthday, Spice birthday is August 6th, 2022. The receipt is here. The bag was purchased at Saks Fifth Avenue. Do you have the receipt, Miss Um? I have the receipt. Can I get that, see that receipt? Your Honor, as I said, before, I also have a copy it of can receipt, purchase from the store, the store, but that same store, the girls them are bring the fake in, them are buy the real, and them are carry the fake but give them back for exchange. You Your understand? Honor. So they it can be fake. Okay. It's a hundred percent. Um, it can be fake. Trust no me. No problem. All right. So Miss Miss Abu. Can you turn on the cam? You don't have to be in there. You have your receipt. Can show or no? Yeah, she had to prove that the bag was was fake. Show us the bag was fake. No. I said I have the receipt that Carly Red presented of her purchasing the bag. That's what I said. And I also stated the reason why my client said that the bag was fake. And but I your client didn't present and, the bag to show listen, if it was stripping. She said it was stripping. And I also stated my client clearly said it can be fake and it can be real. She is not sure. That is why she asked for the receipt. So my client was 100% saying, yes, it's real. Or she was 100% saying it's fake. And as I said before, it can be the, it can be the fake people that care about the fake or give back the store because this is what they're doing. Yes, I've heard about such thing, Miss Oakley. In South Fifth Avenue, so. I, I heard about such thing. Now, 
Um, Miss, but one, one, one question, Miss Blinger. But why is your client so caught up with fake and real? She was wearing fake even before she went on Love and Hip Hop. Excuse she's, me? She's, she's known for wearing fake stuff. So why is she so caught up about what is real and what is fake? You tell her, you're going to okay. you have to go down. Um, All right, let me say something to you. My client comes from humble beginning, from nothing to something. Yes, she used to wear um, fake stuff, but now she's wearing genuine copies. And she have all right to complain whether something is fake or it's real. And I will stand by her 100% with her complaint. Okay, I have another thing. Miss Abu, your yes. client was upset because she took, she said that she took Charlie Red to um i forgot the island or wherever for her birthday costa rica costa rica, costa rica for her yeah, birthday and carly red only bought her a bag um i was told that she didn't really take carly red there for her birthday she had some shows over there for her birthday so she was already booked there right my client was already booked in Costa Rica. Yes, she had a show there. And my client decided to bring, she decided to add Collie Red. She decided to purchase a ticket for Collie Red, bring her to Costa Rica, since she's already gonna be there within that time frame. So she also used one stone till two bird, basically, instead of going somewhere else. So that's what happened. So my but, client- Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I thought you was finished, go ahead. So my client did also prepare birthday preparation for Miss Red. Okay, Miss Rockabu, yes, she did. But before your client brought my client for a birthday trip, she was returning a favor. My client went to Jamaica and surprised her for her birthday, which was August 6th, the year before. Mm -hmm. So she's saying, my client has never done nothing for her birthday, only gave her a fake bag. That's not true. My client went to Jamaica and surprised her for her birthday. They both done nice things for each other's birthday. You know, this is so childish. Miss Abu, I just have another question. Go ahead. Would you say, why is it your client is so bitter towards Miss Charlie Red? What is the reason? Okay. Everyone know my client, right? Queen of Dancehall, Miss Splice. Everyone know her history with friends. Everyone knows when she loves her friends, she loves them dearly. So whenever a situation is going wrong, she, uh, she take it very hard. So in this case, situation started going wrong and my client is not afraid to click her live and rant. So that's that's one of the situation that happened. Okay. Client is okay, 100% wrong. She's not 100 wrong in every situation. I have to tell you, your client wrote a six-page letter. Yes, she did. Um, you're aware of that, right? Yes. yes. Now, who writes a six-page? This is I I don't. My see client this. wrote a six-page letter. I don't see the seriousity in this so maybe you guys could tell me what is the reason for that six page so, letter miss abu my client took the time out of her busy schedule to write a six page letter breaking down the situation to miss red my client wanted miss red to understand clearly with each passage of what took place why their friendship split what caused the friendship how my client is feeling so that's the reason for the six page letter. My client never wanted just to talk with her on the show or our telephone or something and leave it as that. My client knows how deceiving Miss Red is. So my client did the right thing, have paper trail. But Miss Rakabu, why is your client always having fallouts with each and every one of her friends? And whenever that happens, she, she clicks alive. This goes back to way before Love and Hip Hop. Your client is a bully, and it clears as day no, because she. Too much. My, not to go down. my client is not a bully. I refuse to accept that. My client is a strong individual who stands up for herself, 
hence she seems as a bully there you go but why okay why is your client not friends with nobody who supported her during her illness in the dr my client and her had a spat but guess what she booked a ticket and she was there through the whole ordeal she is, she is friends with none of her friends that was in the dr supporting I, I, her I to through her my illness is still friends with a few people that support her while she was in the dr okay name them her sister Her sister and her is still friends. That's her sister. I'm talking about friends, not sis, not family members. I'm talking about friends, friends. <sighs> My client wish not to disclose any of her friends. Thank you. Oh, she wish not to disclose. Okay. We will do deeper this and dig so short. What else, Miss Blinger? What's the other question? What's the other question? I'm going to add some people, some of the jurors to come up and ask both of you guys question. You have five minutes. You don't come and stay. You can send your request. Do not come and stay. You ask the lawyers the questions. Shit. First, we have Tam, Tam Girl. What? What's okay. Your... Good night. Yes okay this is for the tiktok lawyer okay carly red take spice on a vocation no spice take carly red on a vocation wish the camera wasn't rolling so carly red nobody know about that carly red take spice to jamaica then she talking about she's spending all this money and her wish what spice did for her spice did not talk about it because there was no camera rolling Come okay miss tam girl you're 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 wrong right there spice was on live the entire time the moment she picked up carly red from her house she was on live until they got on the flight until they landed in costa rica no the birthday the birthday carly red had for spice there was no love and hip hop camera rolling. The birthday yes. you are re the birthday no. you are referring to is for love and hip hop family reunion. That was after the fact. That was after the fact, ma'am. You are mixing it up. Spice clicked alive. I watched the live, and mm -hmm. Spice clicked alive, and she recorded the whole trip on their way because my client didn't even know where she was going for her birthday. Splice said to her since as you surprised me for my birthday in jamaica with no love and hip-hop camera was rolling then because there's no record of it they spoke about this when they were doing a joint interview together how they celebrate each other's birthday that was how <laughs> this was brought up what the situation you are referring to that's for love and hip-hop family reunion this is after the fact this is, I'm not talking about before. This is after the fact. So, All right, you want to know nothing, Chef? Go down now. Okay. Miss TikTok lawyer. All right, her name is not Splice. I like to lock her you up, Miss. No, her name yeah. is Splice for the situation, ma'am. It's yes, Splice for the situation. I have a question for um, Splice lawyer. Go you said your, your client is so vast in knowing, you know real from fake how could she make such a mistake not knowing that the bag was real i never said my client was so vast in it my client never stated the bag was real or it's fake she's 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 she doesn't know that's why she asked the question that's why she asked for the receipt no, yes she did she said the bag she said the bag is look fake because it's real. Oh, you didn't do that because the thread was raveling out from the bag so this bag looked fake i mean no real bag so she said me here for me one on our on our live yes good night she, guys but she also stated that she's not sure that's why she asked for the receipt no. that's what she asked for the proof didn't you hear that part on the live where, when she asked for the receipt and asked for the proof no i just heard what going on about the thread rambling okay. out and real and she said, and she said and she said real bag don't, don't um thread don't raveled
That's what she said. My client wasn't wasn't sure whether the bag was real or not. Hence the reason my client asked for the proof. Exhibit hey A. Hey guys, go um, to show you that she is, don't know. I have a question. She I'm said correct me if I'm wrong. All right, take me down, Miss Bling. So that's a one one. I have a question for Charlie, Charlie Lawyer. Um, from my understanding, Spice did not invite Charlie to Dear when she was there. Correct me if I'm wrong. So furthermore, List. <coughs> yes, Go sorry. ahead. Furthermore, Go ahead. Splice and Charlie have been having issues before she was admitted. Am I lying? Listen, they were having issues. But not issues yes, to end a friendship. If your friend is they, on they her haven't bed, they haven't had any friendship. They haven't had any friendship for no, a long they spoke in time, September. No. They spoke in September. Spice went to went to DR October 31st. On October 13th, Spice came on Instagram and she said she was going on a hiatus because the platform was toxic. That was two weeks before the incident happened in the DR. The incident you, happened. You not understand me. You not understand me. Splice had did not invited invite. Charlie yeah. to DR. This is that's the thing. Splice did not invite did Charlie not. to DR. She okay, sent on her agree, life. She did not. So what? No, but Go what kind of TikTok lawyer? You're pointing out that oh, all the person that's been in DR when Splice was admitted, she and them is not no friend anymore. You're wrong because. Spice, Spice haven't been friend with Charlie for a good while now, and she did not invite her over there. So, listen, I understand. They had issues, but they was not saying they was no longer friends. Charlie Red and Spice was partying two weeks before she went to the DDR in Canada. Y'all want the pictures? I'll send them. Two Girl, weeks before. There was in pictures partying in Canada. I'm gonna send the pictures. My client and your client. Has been having listen, as a liar, put it up by your Listen, I put up, listen, I don't have to put up nothing. I'm gonna send it to Miss Blinger. That's it. But that don't make no sense. I quote this and everybody I watch it. No, she can't send it, Miss Blinger. Good night. The green screen to the green screen. The, the, um, the, um, her Charlie is liar. You asked the question earlier. You stated why isn't tree -tree um splice that, and yeah. Her friends are no longer friends. Let me tell you something. It's when you betray a friendship, you don't want those persons to be friends anymore. Bear in mind, Miss Charlie videoed lady without her knowledge. Miss, oh, I object, uh, Miss Blinger, could you play the, the um, read the thing where the person who recorded the video said she recorded the video and and my client had no knowledge of the video? Could you could you read that for me? Thank mm -hmm. you. Charlie, read up here, you. Hold Charlie on. Charlie Red mm -hmm. and Nancy both are involved in the, um, the pardon. Say that again. Charlie Red and Miss Nancy are both involved in the video recording. Exactly, and, because and, I remember and they stated. Nancy sent her the video. So exactly, like, and how did Nancy get that video? She they did it said Carly sent she was it in the to DR. her. Nancy was in the DR with them. Nancy was one of the friends in the DR. That's how she got the video. Your client took on mm, her to went to the DR to visit my client without an invitation. Knowing that their friendship is on a rocky end. When my client saw your client, my client was shocked. But because of the situation, she allowed, she allowed her to remain mm -hmm. there. Your client betrayed my client confidentiality by releasing the video. My client did not release a video. Nobody released a video. The video was sent to Spice. Yes. All right. I have something here. All right. Okay, Miss Nancy. So I wasn't lying then. You did record the doctor talking about my situation. It is said here that Nancy, Splice said, okay. listen guys, it is said that Nancy recorded the doctor talking about her situation. That's what Splice said. So Carly Red, Charlie Red did not record the video. 
and I have these as proof, as um real solid proof. Negro and Quoto and put at the proof. Can't see proof them camera. A liar for sure to prove, not the judge. A liar. But they bring it to me. So yeah, I don't have screen. anything here to put. I don't have anything here. I'm using this phone. I don't I don't have anything to put it on. I can post it in my DM after the case is finished. I'm going to post it up on my thing so people can go to it, look at it, comment, and we can come back here. We All right. Let me say something here, Blinga. I understand what you say, but what you know, you say the quote was there. Big man thing, the lawyer should have green screen it. The lawyer is not using her right identity and such, so she have nothing for her about. Green screen it, and you put her on the big screen, make the whole court see. Oh, that sound court, give me a A. Listen, I'm using my iPad, and my phone has the evidence. You I cannot green screen it on my Why iPad. Why are me up, so Be yourself in the courthouse, please. I don't like a carry on. Okay, cheese, we'll take your suggestions the consideration and next time blinger you do that yeah man um maybe she could green screen it too but i can't so here's what i'm going to what, see what, there they might kill the comment my win the way how i i'm gonna yeah, do it right. mm -hmm. 